Amidst the bustling city of Thebes, nestled along the fertile banks of the Nile, the future of Egypt was taking shape in the form of a newborn princess named Hatshepsut. Born in the year 1507 BCE, her arrival into the world was heralded by the gentle rustling of palm leaves and the distant calls of ibises soaring across the sky. Hatshepsut's lineage was intertwined with the annals of Egypt's history. She was the daughter of King Thutmose I, a conqueror whose campaigns had expanded the boundaries of Egypt's influence. Her mother, Queen Amose, was revered for her beauty and intelligence, and she instilled in young Hatshepsut a deep sense of pride in their heritage. Growing up within the grand palace walls, Hatshepsut was immersed in the rich tapestry of Egyptian culture. The hallways echoed with the whispers of courtiers and the fragrance of incense offerings, while the walls were adorned with intricate hieroglyphics that recounted the stories of past pharaohs and the gods they worshipped. Her upbringing was marked by a unique blend of privilege and responsibility. As a princess, she was educated in matters of statecraft, religion, and diplomacy. She learned to read the ancient hieroglyphs and decipher the intricacies of administrative scrolls, preparing her for a role that would one day demand her full mastery. The rituals of the temples, the vibrant festivals that brought the city to life, and the powerful presence of the gods left an indelible mark on Hatshepsut's impressionable mind. She often found solace beside the sacred waters of the Nile, where the tranquil rhythm of the river seemed to whisper secrets of Egypt's enduring greatness. Little did Hatshepsut know that her destiny would soon be altered by the hands of fate. Tragedy struck when her father, the mighty king Thutmose Berwurst, departed from the mortal realm, leaving behind a kingdom in transition. As the dust of grief settled, her half-brother Thutmose II ascended the throne, but he was young and inexperienced, and the weight of leadership bore heavily upon him. The role of regent naturally fell upon Hatshepsut's shoulders. With a mix of loyalty and determination, she upheld the mantle of guidance for her young nephew, Thutmose III. This early exposure to the complexities of power and the intricacies of governance would lay the foundation for the remarkable path that lay ahead of her. And so, against the backdrop of the majestic Theban landscape, the young princess embarked on a journey that would see her evolve from a guardian of the throne to a pharaoh in her own right. Little did anyone suspect that the girl who wandered through the palace gardens, weaving dreams amidst the blossoms, would one day carve her name into the annals of history as Egypt's most renowned female ruler. The sun cast a warm golden glow over the city of Thebes, signaling the dawning of a new era. Within the palace walls, the shifting sands of destiny were about to propel Hatshepsut onto an unforeseen path. The legacy of her father, King Thutmose Brunt, hung heavy in the air, a reminder of the immense responsibility that awaited her. As her half-brother Thutmose II ascended the throne, the young Hatshepsut found herself standing at the crossroads of history. Thutmose II, still in the bloom of youth, ruled with the guidance of his advisors, but his health faltered prematurely. Tragedy struck once more as the pharaoh's life was cut short, leaving Egypt's destiny uncertain. Hatshepsut, wise beyond her years, recognized the fragility of the kingdom's stability. With Thutmose III, her young nephew, too inexperienced to rule, she was presented with a choice that would shape her own legacy. In the heart of the royal court, surrounded by advisors, priests, and courtiers, Hatshepsut made the audacious decision to assume the title of pharaoh herself. Her announcement rippled through the court like a stone dropped into a still pond, creating waves of shock and intrigue. The specter of a female pharaoh had never graced Egypt's history before, and the realm's reaction was a mixture of curiosity, skepticism, and in some quarters, outright opposition. It was a gamble that would define Hatshepsut's reign and challenge the established norms of her time. Hatshepsut's claim to power was not without precedent, however. Egyptian mythology and tradition often depicted powerful goddesses who held sway over various domains. She sought to draw from these mythical threads, painting herself as a divinely ordained ruler, a queen who, like the goddess Ma'at, would bring harmony and stability to Egypt. To solidify her rule, Hatshepsut embarked on a careful balancing act. She portrayed herself in statuary and reliefs as a pharaoh, donning the regal attire of the Neem's headdress and the ceremonial false beard. These symbols of power were intended to underscore her authority and portray her as an equal to the male pharaohs who had come before her. Yet even as she presented herself in the guise of a male ruler, Hatshepsut never shied away from acknowledging her femininity. 
She bore the titles Her Majesty and the Beautiful Daughter of Ra, intertwining her identity as a woman with her role as Pharaoh. This calculated blend of traditional symbolism and innovative self-presentation showcased her astute understanding of Egypt's cultural landscape. Hatshepsut's rise to power was marked by both reverence and resistance. The people of Egypt found themselves in uncharted waters, navigating the unspoken rules of a world where a woman held the scepter of command. As the city of Thebes buzzed with whispered conversations and intrigued glances, Hatshepsut began to steer Egypt onto a course that would leave an indelible mark on history. The corridors of power in the opulent palace echoed with the weight of change as Hatshepsut settled into her role as pharaoh. The Nile's gentle current mirrored the currents of transformation sweeping through Egypt as a woman defied tradition to wield the scepter of kingship. Hatshepsut's coronation, marked by grand ceremonies and elaborate rituals, aimed to secure her legitimacy. She stood resplendent in her pharaonic regalia, the iconic Nimes headdress adorned with the ureus, a cobra symbolizing royalty, and the ceremonial false beard denoting her authority. Her image etched in stone and inscribed in temple walls depicted her not as a mere regent, but as a ruler of equal stature to her male predecessors. The people of Egypt were presented with a paradox, a woman clothed in the trappings of a male pharaoh. For Hatshepsut, this strategic choice was not merely about appearance, it was a bold assertion of her right to govern. To amplify her voice in a world dominated by men, she adopted the titles and imagery of male pharaohs. It was a calculated step to secure her authority and break free from the confines of traditional gender roles. Beyond Egypt's borders, news of Hatshepsut's reign elicited a spectrum of reactions. Foreign rulers grappled with the enigma of a female pharaoh, challenging their notions of leadership and power. Some chose diplomacy, recognizing Hatshepsut's might and reaching out with messages of respect and cooperation. Others, however, saw her reign as an opportunity to challenge Egypt's influence. Amidst the swirl of international intrigue, Hatshepsut's rule remained remarkably stable. She embraced her role as a patron of the arts and architecture, overseeing the construction of grand monuments that celebrated Egypt's past and projected its enduring glory into the future. The sprawling complex at Deir el-Bahari nestled against the Theban cliffs, showcased her vision and ambition. It was a statement of her devotion to the gods, a demonstration of her authority, and an invitation for generations to come to marvel at her legacy. Yet as Hatshepsut blazed trails in diplomacy and statecraft, she also navigated the more intimate corridors of family. Her relationship with her stepson and co-ruler, Thutmose III, was a blend of cooperation and rivalry. While the dynamic between them could have devolved into conflict, Hatshepsut's astute leadership allowed her to maintain a balance, preserving stability for the realm they both governed. Amid the rise and fall of the Nile's waters, Hatshepsut remained a steadfast pillar of strength. She commanded the respect of those who served her, and she earned the admiration of those who observed from afar. Her rule was a symphony of tradition and innovation, a testament to the complexities of power and gender, in a society where tradition was deeply ingrained. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a rosy hue across the Theban landscape, Hatshepsut's reign illuminated Egypt's history like a radiant beacon. In a world where women were often confined to the background, she defied expectations and created a legacy that would echo through time, inspiring generations to come. Under the golden embrace of the Egyptian sun, the heart of the kingdom pulsed with vitality as Hatshepsut's reign continued to flourish. Her rule wasn't merely about maintaining power, it was an opportunity to transform Egypt into a symbol of opulence and prosperity. Hatshepsut's gaze was fixed not only on the present but also on the future. With a vision that stretched beyond the borders of Egypt, she recognized the importance of economic strength and international connections. Her court buzzed with the energy of trade envoys returning from distant lands, bearing exotic treasures and news of alliances forged. The trade expeditions were a masterstroke, enriching Egypt's coffers and forging connections that would endure for centuries. Among these expeditions, the most legendary was the voyage to the fabled land of Punt. The arduous journey, marked by scorching sands and treacherous waters, was rewarded with precious incense, ebony, and other luxuries that adorned the temples of Egypt and spoke of her kingdom's grandeur. However, it wasn't just foreign relations that captured Hatshepsut's attention. The architectural ambitions of her reign were equally ambitious. 
The Grand Temple Complex at Deir el-Bahari, with its terraced structure and intricate reliefs, was a marvel of design and engineering. It became a testament to her devotion to the gods and her desire to be remembered through the ages. Among her accomplishments, Hatshepsut also commissioned the construction of towering obelisks, symbolizing the connection between the earthly realm and the divine. These towering monuments, hewn from the bedrock and adorned with inscriptions proclaiming her achievements, stood as testaments to her reign's enduring impact. In the heart of Thebes, where the Nile's waters mirrored the deep blue of the heavens, Hatshepsut's reign breathed life into every corner. The bustling markets, vibrant festivals, and towering temples stood as a testament to her ability to weave prosperity from the threads of her ambition. Her devotion to the gods found expression in the sacred rituals that punctuated the Egyptian calendar. The statues of deities she had crafted were imbued with reverence and devotion, and her rule saw the restoration of numerous temples that had fallen into disrepair. As the scent of incense wafted through the air, and the rhythmic chants of priests reverberated, Egypt's spiritual landscape blossomed under her careful stewardship. Even as her monumental projects unfolded, Hatshepsut's connection to the common people remained intact. She recognized the importance of local governance, enacting policies to ensure the equitable distribution of resources and the well-being of her subjects. This approach endeared her to the populace, solidifying her legacy as a ruler who not only built monuments, but also nurtured the foundations of her kingdom. The world watched in awe as Egypt prospered under Hatshepsut's rule. Her leadership was characterized by a harmonious blend of economic growth, artistic expression, and spiritual devotion. The legacy she was carving transcended stone and mortar, reaching into the hearts of her people and the annals of history, where her name would be etched alongside the great pharaohs of Egypt's past. Amidst the grandeur of Hatshepsut's reign, an intriguing paradox unfolded, encapsulating both her determination and the complexities of her era. The corridors of power resonated with the whispers of courtiers and the clinking of ceremonial regalia as Egypt's female pharaoh donned the mantle of leadership with unyielding resolve. Hatshepsut's choice to present herself as a male pharaoh was an audacious move, born out of necessity. She understood that Egypt's deeply ingrained societal norms demanded a masculine authority figure to navigate the intricacies of leadership. The false beard, an emblem of power, dangled beneath her chin as she stood before her subjects, projecting an image that would secure her rule. While the facade of a male ruler held symbolic significance, it also played a practical role. The Neem's headdress, adorned with the royal ureus, shielded Hatshepsut from the vulnerability that her femininity might otherwise expose. In the eyes of Egypt and the world, she was no longer a woman making her mark, but a pharaoh wielding authority in a world dominated by men. Yet even as she adopted the trappings of a male ruler, Hatshepsut's reign was characterized by an authentic fusion of the traditional and the innovative. Beneath the ceremonial facade, she proudly bore titles that celebrated her femininity, such as the beautiful daughter of Ra. These titles weren't contradictions. They were declarations of her identity as a woman who defied convention to shape her nation's destiny. In a time when gods and goddesses held immense sway over the lives of Egyptians, Hatshepsut was keenly aware of the symbolism she embodied. She tapped into the mythology of Egypt's past, invoking the essence of powerful goddesses who had once reigned over divine domains. This association with the divine allowed her to transcend gender expectations and lay claim to a role that transcended mortal limitations. As her reign extended, so did her influence beyond Egypt's borders. Foreign rulers, envoys, and emissaries observed her with a mix of curiosity and intrigue. Some saw her reign as a testament to Egypt's strength and stability, while others wrestled with the challenge she posed to their own power dynamics. Diplomacy and trade became powerful tools in her arsenal, as her reign drew neighboring realms into a dance of mutual respect and shared interests. In the royal palace, the legacy of her father cast a long shadow. Thutmose III, her stepson and co-ruler, stood in a unique position. The relationship between them held a blend of cooperation and rivalry, a complex web that required constant tending. Hatshepsut, recognizing the delicate balance required for Egypt's stability, navigated this dynamic with a blend of strategic diplomacy and familial understanding. Through the veil of time, the story of Hatshepsut emerges not as a simple tale of power, but as a nuanced exploration of identity, ambition, and societal expectations. 
Her choice to present herself as a male pharaoh was a calculated maneuver designed to transcend the barriers placed upon her gender. It was a testament to her intelligence, determination, and her unwavering commitment to steering Egypt to greatness, even if it meant redefining what it meant to be a ruler in a world that saw power through a male lens. As the sands of time flowed ceaselessly, Hatshepsut's reign cast an enduring shadow over Egypt's history. Her legacy, a tapestry woven with threads of ambition and controversy, bore the marks of a ruler who dared to challenge convention in the pursuit of greatness. However, as the final rays of the sun kissed the horizon, the chapters of Hatshepsut's reign drew to a close. Her passing marked a turning point, not only in the narrative of her life, but also in the intricate tale of Egypt's rulership. As her breath left her body, the kingdom faced a new dawn, one that would be navigated by her co-ruler and stepson, Thutmose III. Thutmose III's ascent to the throne ushered in a period of profound change, both for Egypt's political landscape and for the narrative surrounding Hatshepsut's rule. Amid the complexities of their relationship, Thutmose III undertook a campaign to erase her memory from history's pages. Monuments were defaced, inscriptions were obliterated, and her legacy was systematically dismantled, all in an effort to rewrite the past and reassert his own authority. The motivations behind this campaign remain a subject of speculation. It's possible that Thutmose III sought to secure his own place in history, erase reminders of his stepmother's rule, or simply diminish her accomplishments to enhance his legacy. Whatever the reasons, the effects were profound. Hatshepsut's story was obscured, and her name seemed destined to be forgotten. For centuries, her memory lay buried beneath the sands of Egypt, hidden from the eyes of those who came after. The monuments she built, the inscriptions she meticulously crafted, all were repurposed or destroyed, fading into oblivion. It was as if she had been cast into the shadows, an enigmatic figure whose legacy was shrouded in mystery. Yet history has a way of preserving even the most concealed truths. As Egyptology advanced and scholars began to unearth the remnants of the past, Hatshepsut's story emerged like a forgotten treasure, slowly but surely returning to the light. The pieces of her reign, once scattered and fragmented, were carefully pieced together through meticulous archaeological work and the deciphering of hieroglyphic puzzles. The revelation of Hatshepsut's reign ignited a renewed fascination with her life and accomplishments. Her courage to break the chains of tradition, her diplomatic prowess, and her architectural marvels all gained newfound recognition. The once vanished queen who had dared to challenge gender norms was now celebrated as a trailblazer who had navigated the treacherous waters of power with unparalleled skill. In the twilight of her story, Hatshepsut's legacy stands as a testament to the complexities of history and memory. The deliberate erasure she faced, though it may have obscured her temporarily, ultimately failed to extinguish her light. Instead, her journey has inspired generations to question authority, challenge norms, and celebrate the untold stories that have shaped our world. As the echoes of her footsteps resound through the corridors of time, Hatshepsut emerges not only as a forgotten pharaoh, but as a timeless symbol of strength and resilience. In the annals of time, the story of Hatshepsut lay hidden, waiting for a curious soul to unearth its secrets. As sands shifted and winds whispered through the ruins of ancient Egypt, the world was poised for the reawakening of a forgotten queen whose legacy had been veiled for centuries. The turning point came with the advent of Egyptology, a discipline that sought to peel back the layers of history and reveal the truths obscured by time. The early 19th century saw intrepid explorers and scholars embarking on expeditions to the land of the pharaohs, armed with a determination to unearth the buried treasures of the past. The modern world stood in awe as the first fragments of Hatshepsut's story began to emerge from the dust. With pickaxes and brushes, archaeologists meticulously excavated the remnants of her monuments, piecing together the puzzle of her reign. Temples that had been repurposed, inscriptions that had been defaced, all yielded their secrets to the patient efforts of those who sought to restore her rightful place in history. Among the most significant discoveries was the sprawling temple complex at Deir el-Bahari, which had once been her vision brought to life in stone. Its terrace structure, intricate reliefs, and monumental statues stood as a testament to her ambition, a testament that had endured the passage of time despite the efforts to erase her memory. As the inscriptions were translated and the scenes deciphered, the magnitude of Hatshepsut's achievements became undeniable. 
the records of her trade expeditions to Punt, her diplomatic overtures to neighboring lands, and her devotion to Egypt's gods, all painted a vivid picture of a ruler who had left an indelible mark on her kingdom. The rediscovery of Hatshepsut's legacy sparked a wave of fascination and intrigue. Books were written, documentaries produced, and exhibitions curated, each contributing to the restoration of her story. Her name, once buried in the forgotten corners of history, was now spoken with reverence, a symbol of the enduring strength and resilience of women who had defied the constraints of their times. In the heart of modern Egypt, visitors now stand in awe before the monumental statues that bear her likeness, once again gazing upon the countenance of the woman who had dared to claim the title of Pharaoh. The temples she built have become places of pilgrimage, not only for their architectural splendor, but for the spirit of innovation and determination that they represent. Hatshepsut's legacy has transcended the confines of her era, becoming a beacon for those who challenge the narratives that seek to suppress their voices. Her story reminds us that history is a tapestry woven from diverse threads, where the silent stories of the past can be unraveled and celebrated once more. In this age of rediscovery, Hatshepsut's name is not whispered in secrecy. It resounds through the corridors of academia, echoes through the halls of museums, and is shared in the tales told to captivated audiences around the world. Her journey, from the shadows of obscurity to the spotlight of recognition, is a testament to the power of time and determination, leaving an eternal mark on the ever-evolving story of humanity. As the dust of history settled, Hatshepsut's legacy emerged not only as a story of a remarkable individual, but as a timeless emblem of inspiration and empowerment. Her journey from obscurity to recognition became a beacon for those who dared to challenge convention and shape their destinies against the odds. In the corridors of power and the halls of academia, Hatshepsut's name resonated with newfound significance. Her life story ignited discussions about the complexities of gender and leadership, forcing societies to re-examine their assumptions and biases. Her ability to ascend to the pinnacle of Egypt's power as a female pharaoh was not just an anomaly, it was a testament to the potential within individuals to rise above societal constraints. The legacy of Hatshepsut's reign also stretched beyond the academic realm, impacting women's roles and aspirations in contemporary times. Her story became a rallying cry for gender equality and female leadership, inspiring women across the globe to strive for greatness, regardless of societal expectations. Her example demonstrated that breaking through glass ceilings was not a modern concept. It was an age-old pursuit, embodied by a woman who ruled a kingdom millennia before. In classrooms, lecture halls, and public forums, Hatshepsut's journey sparked discussions on representation and historical accuracy. Her erasure from history illustrated the power dynamics that often shape the narratives we inherit. Her story became a reminder of the responsibility to preserve the voices of those who have been marginalized, ensuring that history is not just a chronicle of the powerful, but a mosaic that includes the perspectives of all. Visitors to the grand temples and monuments she commissioned are greeted by the echoes of her ambition and audacity. Standing before her statues, they find themselves in the presence of a ruler whose determination carved her name into the stone of history. Her legacy is etched not only in hieroglyphics, but in the hearts of those who stand in awe of her achievements. Beyond her native Egypt, the impact of Hatshepsut's story reverberates across cultural and artistic landscapes. Writers, poets, and artists draw inspiration from her journey, weaving her spirit into their works. She has become a symbol of resilience and strength, a muse for creators who seek to capture the essence of those who defy norms and forge their own paths. In the grand tapestry of human history, Hatshepsut stands as a testament to the remarkable capacity of individuals to leave an indelible mark on the world. Her legacy reminds us that the stories we tell are not confined to the past. They shape our present and guide our future. She invites us to question, challenge, and celebrate the untold stories that continue to shape the world around us, encouraging us all to channel the spirit of audacity and innovation that she so boldly exemplified. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about the video. And now make sure to hit the like button to support the channel. And I will see you in the next story. Peace.